Umaru Musa Yaradua, GCFRO, was born on 16th August 1951 and died on the 5th of May 2010. He was a Nigerian politician who served as the president of Nigeria from 2007 until his death in May 2010. He won the Nigerian presidential election on 21st of April 2007 and was sworn in on 29th May 2007. He had previously served as the governor of Castina State from 1999 to 2007 and was a member of the People's Democratic Party PDP. Yaradua was born in Castina State, Nigeria. His father, Musa Yaradua, was a minister for Lagos in the First Republic and held the chieftaincy title of Matawali, the custodian of the Royal Treasury of Castina Emirates. And his mother is Ajia Dada Yaradua, who is still alive and most presidential aspirants usually pay a visit before election. Yaradua married to Rai Yaradua in 1975 and the couple were blessed with seven children, five daughters and two sons, and several grandchildren. Yaradua started his education at Rafuka Primary School in 1958 and moved to Dosima Bodin Primary School in 1962. He attended the government college at Kefi from 1965 until 1969. In 1971, he received a higher school certificate from Barewa College. He attended Amedobelo University in Zaria from 1972 to 1975, where he obtained a bachelor's degree in education and chemistry and then returned in 1978 to pursue a master's degree in analytical chemistry. Yaradua got his first employment at Holy Child College in Lagos in 1975 to 1976. He later served as a lecturer at the College of Arts, Science and Technology in Zaria, Kaduna State between 1976 to 1979. In 1979, he began working as a lecturer at College of Art and Science, remaining in this position until 1983 when he began working in the corporate sector. Yaradua worked at Sambo Farms Limited in Fontua, Castina State, as its perennial general manager between 1983 and 1989. He served as a board member of Castina State Farmers Supply Company between 1984 and 1985, a member of the governing council of Castina College of Arts, Science and Technology, Zaria, and Castina Polytechnic between 1978 and 1983. He was the board chairman of Casino State Investment and Property Development Company between 1994 and 1996. He also served as a director of many different companies in Nigeria. During the Second Republic, Yaradua was a member of the Leftist People's Redemption Party, while his father was briefly the national vice chairman of the National Party of Nigeria. During the transition program of General Ibrahim Babangida to the Third Republic, Yaradua was one of the founding members of the People's Front of Nigeria, with other members such as Atiku Abubaka, Baba Gana Kingi Bey, Bola Tunibu, Sabu Bakin Zuwo, Wada Abubaka, Abdullahi Aliyu, Abubaka Koko, and Rabi Musa Kwankwaso, a political association under the leadership of his elder brother, the late Major General Sheu Musa Yaradua. That association later formed the Social Democratic Party. Yaradua was a member of the 1998 Constituent Assembly. He was a member of the People's National Caucus and the Nigerian Social Democratic Party, State Secretary in Castina. Contested for governorship position in 1991 election, but lost to Saidu Bada, the candidate of the National Republican Convention. In 1999, Yaradua won the Castina State Governorship election. He was the first governor to publicly declare his assets. Yaradua's administration saw various developments in the state. Kasina became the fifth northern state in Nigeria to adopt the Sharia law, otherwise known as Islamic law. Education was prioritized and several schools were built in local areas. Yaradua also delivered on his promise of running an efficient public administration with corruption significantly hampered. In 2003, he was re-elected for a second term in office and his successor was Ibrahim Shema. Yadua was chosen as a presidential candidate of the ruling People's Democratic Party for the 2007 election. 
His success in the primary election was attributed to the support of incumbent president Olusegu Obasanjo. Shortly after his nomination, Yadora chose good luck Ibili Jonathan, governor of Bayesal State, as his vice presidential candidate. Another view regarding the support he received from President Olusegu Obasanjo is that he was one of few seven governors with a spotless record, devoid of any suspicion or charges of corruption. He also belonged to the People's Democratic Movement, a powerful political bloc founded by his late brother, Sheo Musa Yadoa, who was Obasanjo's second in command during this military rule. During his tenure as president, Yadoa had tried to improve foreign relations with other countries to also help with social justice and national security. While talking with President George Bush, he had explained that he would help fight corruption within Nigeria and help grow the economy. Under Yaradjo's regime, Nigeria's oil-rich Niger Delta became increasingly militarized and insecure. Scores of civilians were murdered by armed gangs and security forces in 2007, and the violence further impeded the impoverished region's development. Much of the insecurity that plagued the Niger Delta was directly related to the failures of governance at all levels. Despite massive budget increase due to rising oil prices, Federal, state and local governments made no effective effort to address the grinding poverty and environmental degradation that lay at the heart of political discontent in the region. Instead, many regional political figures were directly implicated in sponsoring and arming militant groups that carried out violent abuses. His amnesty initiative for militants later brought peace into the Niger Delta. In early 2009, Boko Haram launched a military campaign for Islamic rule in Nigeria. According to initial media reports, the violence began in July 2009 when Boko Haram launched an attack on a police station in Bauchi. Clashes between the militants and Nigerian police force erupted in Kano, Yobe and Borno, which led to Yaradoa to order an investigation into the killing of the leader of the radical Islamic sect which was responsible for the violence that left more than 700 people dead. Yaradoa left Nigeria on 23rd November 2009 and was reported to be receiving treatment for pericarditis at a clinic in Saudi Arabia. He was not seen in public again and his absence created a power vacuum which was observed by a cabal. On 22nd January 2010, the Supreme Court of Nigeria ruled that the Federal Executive Council had 14 days to decide a resolution on whether Yadua was incapable of discharging the function of his office. On February 9, 2010, the Senate controversially used the doctrine of necessity to transfer presidential power to Vice President Goodluck Jonathan and declared him acting president, with all the accompanying powers until Yadua returned to full health. On February 24, 2010, Yadua returned to Abuja under the cover of darkness. His state of health was unclear, but there was a speculation that he was still on life support machine. Yadua died on 5th May at the Asorok presidential villa. An Islamic burial took place on 6th May in his hometown in Kassina. The federal government of Nigeria declared a seven-day mourning period. Acting President Goodluck Jonathan said Nigeria has lost a jewel on its crown, and even the heavens mourn with our nation tonight. As individuals and as a nation, we pray for the recovery of Mr. President. But we take solace in the fact that the Almighty is the giver and the taker of all life. <laughs>